maravilhoso com esses dois queridos irmãos em Cristo. Amém. E é um prazer enorme que Deus abençoe a todos. Amém. Amém. So we came here to evangelize to him and he evangelized to us. It's so good. It's amazing. Thank you guys. Marcy, what are you doing? I just came out of the my class. What is all this? We are planting some flowers and some fruits and the fruits and vegetables and I want to have many bees. Bees? Bees, bees. around. We and... have tons of bees already. No, we don't. The world needs bees. Butterflies and I watched Pray the show for me. that just gave me inspiration. But actually who gave me inspiration was God and Eve. Don't you think Eve was taking care of the flowers? Well, just can't argue with I that. She was. <laughs> Our daily prayer walks. Almost daily, right? Yeah. What are you praying about? Got to use her from this. Preaching? What are you going to preach about? You're going to preach about the sacrifice of Christ. Uh, That's right. It's Who is Jesus to you? That is the message of preaching. Hello guys, welcome to our ninth episode. I want to share with you guys something that's happened this week. So Marcelli and I had the opportunity to preach again in our church here in Jukachiba in this community that we're living in. And we did not preach the whole message, but we preached about 10 minutes. They gave us a little opportunity to do that. And what we had, we had a burden on our heart at that time. And what I knew I had to share with that opportunity was about waking up, about turning the world upside down as believers. I got to share about Acts chapter 17, about Paul and Silas, how they were sharing the gospel and they considered them people who turned the world upside down. And the message I left with the church was a little heavy, but we were talking about who is turning the world upside down. Is it us or is it the Macumbetas? And I, if you guys remember that word, those are the people who are into witchcraft, fortune telling. They live on our street here. We can hear them worshiping with their drums and whatever else they're doing there. And so that's a message that's really heavy on our hearts as missionaries is to share the gospel, not only to them, but to the other people in this church, to the other people in the city, that we need to rise up as Christians. We can't be silent anymore. People are dying. People are going to hell. And it's real. It's serious. And we found out, like I said before, our community is a hub for the witchcraft. And all of these churches around here do not have missions. There's a Catholic church that does have a missions team. But our churches that we are serving with and serving in do not have missions. And we've talked with the pastor. We are going to start a missions team with that. We've met some of the people who are going to be on that team. It's really, really exciting. And we're really excited for 2021 to see what God is going to do. I want to share with you guys something else that happened this week. We went to the supermarket again in Imbu de Sarchis where we met member Douglas in our last video. And we met another man named Fernando. I'm going to share a clip of that. You guys can check it out. Hello guys, once again we're in the supermarket here in Imbu and we met another amazing person, Fernando, and we were putting the groceries in the car and he offered us to buy a pillow, a pillow almofada, uh -huh. See? Uh -huh. almofada, and he, we started talking with him about Jesus and he knows Jesus, he's a Christian, and if he wants to share just a little piece uh -huh. of his testimony, you can translate. Olá, boa noite, aqui é o Fernando, direto do Imbu das Artes, dois amiguinhos que eu conheci aqui. A, a, queridos irmãos em Cristo é um prazer enorme é, o que eu tenho a falar é que Jesus primeiramente ele veio na, para nos resgatar de todo o laço do inimigo é, por mais que nós somos, somos pecadores Deus está disposto a nos perdoar nos limpar, nos purificar pelo sangue de Jesus é, Deus ele está disposto a te ouvir Basta você crer e depositar toda a sua fé nele e viver e praticar a palavra, que é fundamental em nossas vidas. A palavra de Deus diz que em 1 Tiago 1,12, bem-aventurado o varão que sofre tentação, porque quando for provado receberou, receberá a coroa da vida, a qual o Senhor tem prometido aos que amam. No mundo sofrereis, sofrereis é, aflições, mas Deus. Ele está disposto a nos ajudar 
em meio às lutas que passamos. Parece que não, mas tudo está se cumprindo aqui na face da terra. Guerra de nação contra nação, filho contra fi, é, pai, é, terremoto, maremoto. Tudo está se cumprindo. O ser humano, infelizmente, é muito egoísta. Visando primeiramente bens materiais, luxúria, egoísmo. Atitudes que não agradam a Deus. Mas o Espírito Santo testifica que Deus é amor. Ele, ele é amor. Ele, o Espírito Santo, ele cobra de nós. Basta nós abrimos o espaço de nossa vida, o nosso coração, para Deus trabalhar. Ele opera milagres, maravilhas em nossa vida. Não importa qual a sua luta que você esteja passando, mas Deus está disposto a te ajudar e te dar uma nova vida em Cristo Jesus. Eu agradeço esse momento maravilhoso com esses dois queridos irmãos em Cristo. E é um prazer enorme que Deus abençoe a todos. Amen. 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 So we came here to evangelize to him and he evangelized to us. It's so good. It's amazing. Thank you guys. Bye. And after that video that we recorded, two other women came up and started talking to us and they were asking for some money. They were homeless and some other, I don't know their whole complete situation, but we got to pray with them too and share the gospel with them too. And it was such an incredible time. Here's a video of those women that we got to talk with and pray with and It was a great time. It was a great time to share the gospel. Fernando even joined in, shared a little bit of the gospel as well. It was an amazing opportunity to, to speak with those people. Hey guys, I want to show you something very, very crazy. So look at this room right now, listening to worship music. This is what we, we like to do in our house. I'm going to show you how much different it is when you just go outside. See if you can listen. Can you hear that? I wanted to end this video today showing you guys just how real it is in this in our area, in, a, in our own home. When we turn off the TV, we can hear them worshiping. We can hear the Makovedas glorifying their pagan gods and their devil worshiping. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Thank you for watching. See you guys next week. Bye-bye.